Hi, today I'm going to show you how I record and mix electric guitars using two mics, a room mic and a closed mic. But first a quick run through uh, of the gear. Uh, the sound card is an Apogee Duet. Uh, the DAW is, a, is an uh, iPad Pro. Uh, I'm using a 24-bit and 96 kilohertz resolution. Uh, that didn't work on the uh, on the older iPad, so you, you need an iPad Pro for that. Uh, I'm playing here on, on a Marshall Super Bass from 77 through a 1960A cab from 1971. Uh, I'm backing it off uh, with a hot plate, 12 decibel. Uh, so let, let's check out the mics. Uh, as a close mic, I'm using a Unidyne 4. Uh, previously here on the channel I used uh, ribbon mics. Uh, biodynamic M160, which is a favorite mic of mine, but, but since I play very very li loud loud uh, lately, I, 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 I use dynamic mics instead for close miking. Uh, the, uh, ah, let's see, the, uh, where, where are you? There. The room mic is an AKG C414, and I'm setting it to Omni. So, let's go. Now we have a position for the close mic. I, I chose the uh, brightest possible position because uh, I want I want to combine it with the room mic. Have a, have as much frequencies as possible uh, with them combined, and to be able to span uh, the most uh, uh, spatially rich sound possible. So we're going to move this around in the room. It's an it's the AKG C414, and and what we want to avoid now is to have a phase can cancellation between the uh, the signal, the, the the sound waves that comes to uh, the close mic and here, uh, and and the way to uh, to avoid that as much as poss possible is is uh, first to set the room mic to omni, uh, then it picks up in in all directions and then you should move around the uh, the room mic uh, until you have as much bass as possible but also a good room sound and that's what I'm gonna do now <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.